All right, today I want to talk about uh, comparing fractions. Uh, one of the best ways to compare fractions is to be able to look at them and tell how big they are quickly. And the easiest way to do that is to ask yourself, is it more than half or is it less than half? So let's see how to find half. Uh, so take a look here. It looks like we have six, let's just call these cookies, right? They're, they're square, I know. Um, so you've got these six cookies here. Um, and so that is what we would call sixths, right? So if this was a package of cookies, right? One package has six pieces in it, we'd call them sixths, right? And if you ate half of it, you'd be asked to figure out, well, how many is that? And the quickest way to find out is to just draw a line right down the center here, and let's color in the half that we ate, right? Color in this half, and then we can count how many cookies that is. It looks like one, two, three cookies. That's so if you have six objects, three would be half, right? That means that this fraction equals one half, right? You could simplify it, right? Divide it by three, divide it by three, and you'd see that it equals one half, okay? So remember, the denominator is how many pieces there are in one whole package, and the numerator is how many were eaten or colored in, in this case, right? And uh, if you can tell how many you'd have to eat to eat half, you have succeeded. Boom, three six. It gets a little trickier when there's an odd number. Let's take a look at this. Remember, an odd number is just uh, an even number with one more added at the end. Okay, with one more added at the end. So there is six. If we add one to the end, that makes seven. And a lot of people think seven that can't be divided by two. It can't be cut in half. But it can, right? The same trick. Little, this pack of cookies has seven cookies in it. You're going to get half. That's one, two, three. And what happens to this one at the end? Half. Three and a half. So out of seven cookies, three and a half make half, right? This fraction equals one half. So whenever you look at a fraction, you want to look at the denominator and think about, out of those seven cookies, what would make half? Right? Now, you might say, I don't have time to be drawing cookies, Mr. Meyer. That's ridiculous. So here's what it looks like with math. We would take the number seven. right? We have seven cookies. We're going to divide them in half. That means divided by two. Now, how many groups of two come out of seven? You look in your multiplication chart, you see that three is as close as you can get. Three times two is six. And we have a remainder of one, one what? One half, right? We take the divisor is two. That is what we put under here, remainder of one half. So we see that um, these are the same, right? Sorry, I should, this and this, right? They're the same. Whether you draw a picture or whether you use division, you still get three and a half. Okay, three and a half. So. How is that useful? Let's take a quick look. Here are two fractions, and I ask you which one is bigger. Right? Immediately you should say, well, this package has seven cookies in it, and if I ate half, I would have eaten three, I'm sorry, seven cookies. That would be three and a half. That's a funny looking three, but there it is. Out of the seven cookies. Is this less than that? If I only ate three, did I eat less than half the pack? Yes. This is less than half. You look at this denominator and say eight. Out of eight cookies, what would half be? Well, eight divided by two is four. So that would be half the pack. Is five more than half? Yes. So this, if someone ate five out of eight cookies, they would have eaten more than half. So who ate more? Well, five-eighths is more than half. Okay, now remember your sign, right? The small part of the greater than, less than sign always points to the small number. The big part of the less than, greater than sign always points to the bigger number. And that's it. So remember, use this estimation to figure out, think about what is half of eight, and then look at your number and decide, is the number I'm working with more than half? or less than half. Remember, use this denominator to find out what is half of seven. Imagine, what is half of seven? And then think of this. Is this more than half or less than half? Okay.
that should help. Come to me with questions if you don't understand. Thanks.